Hi guys, we are back with Canva and this time we are creating multiple pages. This is perfect if you have a set of the same design that you want to do. For example, I have logos that are then created into badges for different things. They have a slightly different nuance or different piece of text within there. And it's also perfect if you are wanting to create a presentation or a newsletter, for example. So creating multiple pages is super easy. Again, there are templates there for you if you so wish. You can also create them from scratch. And it is basically the same principles as what we have employed so far, but creating multiple pages. I have gone into my account. As you see, all the templates are here. If I want to click on all my designs, I've still got my lemons there, for example. And we are back on the home page here. You can also create a brand kit using Canva, but that's for a future video. So let's start with something that demands a lot of pages. Let's do a, should I do a presentation or a newsletter? I think the newsletter is one that's actually a little bit more difficult. So we'll go into that. I will type in newsletter, click on the newsletter and I have a blank page. And on the left hand side, we have different templates. Again, as I have reiterated in all the videos, there will be some parts of it that shows a paid content. That's easily always changeable. It's always changeable to a free option just by changing the image that is used in there. So don't be afraid if it comes up and you think, oh my goodness, it looks like I have to pay for this. Just change the photo that's in there. So let's have a look at what kind of newsletters we can provide. They even provide things such as a weekly report, a church newsletter, company newsletter, Christmas newsletter. There's all kinds of templates that you could possibly use. This looks kind of neat. And as you see on the templates, they have the images again, the information at the top right. At the bottom, it says one of two, which means there are two pages, but pages available or two layouts available for that newsletter. Again one of two. So this one has two pages. I click on there and we get the two layouts. As you can see, one looks like a front page and the other looks like further information. You can even use these for your email send out, your blog send outs if you so wish. You just click on it. Again, we have paid content here, as you can see and we have some useful boxes. You can set all this up without using a template. Obviously, these gray highlighted parts are simply shapes. All you all they have done is put a shape in already, a square, a rectangle and colored it like gray. That's all that is. It's purely formatting. So anything can be changed. Anything can be created from scratch. Let's create our newsletter. See what comes up for tech in our photos. I see. That's a pro one there. We have view in there. You can obviously put your own in there. You can put anything you want. Your own uploads will be here. put us in. So we can have 
All Star Space News. Drag it out a bit and we also want to make sure it's centered there. Monthly news issue, volume one, issue one. My. If you find this too small to see, you see I've got old eyes. You can click down at the bottom side of the screen and have it made big for you. You don't need glasses, see? You just need it enlarged. And we are not in September yet. We are in July 2019. Inside this issue, Jens talks canon. Is the, whoops. Tony talks. What do I talk? Camber. What else could we have? That's a valid question, is it not? And then tips on creating a newsletter by Tony Puma. And you could even use the content if you really wanted. We will pull a image of Jens on the news onto the first page. And there you have it. You've got a front page of your newsletter. We then make it smaller. There we go. That's better, isn't it? And what happens now? You need another page. If you look at the bottom, it says add a new page, click on it and you are back with a second page to work on. And if we go back to our templates, we've still got ours open so we can choose the second page of the newsletter if we so wish or go back to a different style and change it to something different. If you are wanting the same content twice, sorry. Go back to one page. If you're wanting this exactly the same content twice, just to make some tweaks, then you can simply click on this copy page button. And now we have two. with a slightly different content. Where are we? Photos, I'll go to my uploads. And you can change it there. Jens did a boo-boo. Tony talks. I was going to put rubbish, but I shouldn't, should I? Tony Talks Tarot. Whoops. So as you see then, you've got two pages. You can delete it if you don't want it and go back to your newsletter style, which means the second page will be slightly different. Use that one. And all you have to do then is download I obviously need to change the image here because this is a, on this one, a paid for image. Uploads. I'll put you into that one. There, that's nice. And we'll change that one. And then all you have to do is 
do you can print letterheads look they have all kinds of options available to you but you can just here download PDF standard you can download it as a uh, PNG or JPEG just to put on your website or obviously as a PDF to send out if you so wish and you download it and that is how to do a newsletter with multiple pages your other images can all have multiple pages so if we go to my logo again that we did on the last one if i wanted slight variations on that i could copy page and then change the color format to a softer one if i so wished that's getting in the way for example and have lemon rather than there we go so you've got two slightly different variations on the same theme and you can send them to people to compare and see if they prefer one over the other or you could add another page in with a brand new in this case logo on it for them to check through and say oh actually i prefer i prefer the blue one oh, look it's got all stars And then you can download them or you can send them to people to say, oh, I prefer the blue one. That's much more you, you can change the color on this because I can't help myself. <laughs> There's so much you can manipulate. And when you have extra pages, we can make them smaller too and look at them as a badge size to compare the two logos and find out which we like the best. So the multiple pages are quite useful for this slight variation on theme and also for things like a presentation or a newsletter. I hope that helped in some small way. Tag me in online in your Canva creations and let me give you a nice big thumbs up on your maybe channel or social media platforms. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you on the next one.